in teaching others. The University of Rhode Island proudly confers upon you, Shirley Cho, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Mr. President, in memory of Leo F. DeMeo, Jr., I have the honor of presenting to you for the degree Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa Posthumous, Mr. DeMeo's granddaughter, Angelica M. DeMeo, who will accept the honor on behalf of her family, including Leo's wife, Eileen, who are all with us today. Angelica is also graduating today from the College of Human Science and Services. She is escorted by Mr. Earl Smith III, Assistant Dean of Students in the College of Arts and Sciences, and a proud alumnus and former advisor of the Talent Development Program. The citation for Mr. DeMeo will be read by President Emeritus Meredith, Dr. Robert Carruthers. President Carruthers served for 18 years as the 10th president of the University of Rhode Island and worked closely and passionately with Mr. DeMeo to support and advance URI's talent development program. Welcome, Dr. Carruthers. As most of you know, Leo DeMeo served as the director of the University of Rhode Island's Talent Development Program from its earliest days and was one of Rhode Island's most recognized educational advocates. He dedicated his life to expanding opportunity for students of color and other disadvantaged students. Known as Mr. D, he was the beloved and revered figure to generations of talent development students and served with great distinction in that role for over 30 years. He earned a master's degree in education from URI and was a face of a program that has and has continued today to pave the path for social justice one student at a time. Prior to joining the university, Leo DeMeo was the first director of education and recreation at the Adult Correctional Institution, a place he always called the CAN, <laughs> where he broke new ground for educational opportunities for inmates. Upon retirement from URI in 98, he created College Readiness, a program to provide educational support to a new generation of marginal youth. Throughout his life, Leo DeMeo understood relationships and he was a loyal friend to an unfathomably large and diverse group of people. A friend is a friend is a friend, is the motto he lived by. He knew people well in all walks of life. His love, his words, and his lessons will never be forgotten. Now I would ask all the TD graduates, all of you wearing that silver sash with TD on it, please rise. Dr. D's dedication to education and his life work brought many awards, accolades, and deep satisfaction. It was all of you here today graduating, which would make him most happy, and most proud of all the work that he and the talent development staff has done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And remember, as Leo would have said, TD baby. President Dooley, I now formally request the degree of Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters be conferred in memory of the late Leo F. DeMeo. In recognition of his unique passion, the strong sense of community and dignity,
he created, and the thousands of students who have benefited from his tireless efforts, the University of Rhode Island proudly confers upon the memory of and family of Leo F. DeMeo, Jr., the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Mr. President, I have the honor of presenting to you for the degree Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa, Ralph Dita Schnella, who is escorted by Dr. John Grandin, Director Emeritus and Founder of the University's International Engineering Program and Professor Emeritus of German. Ralph Dita Schnella. You have held diplomatic and leadership positions worldwide, all with a keen focus on higher education, economic development, and public policy. You have also been an active and long-term supporter of the University of Rhode Island's growing international focus. Mr. Schneller, you joined the German diplomatic service in 1975 and have enjoyed a successful and rewarding career. You served at the embassy in Tokyo the Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe in Madrid, the United Nations, and in the 1990s you were named Deputy Chief of Mission in Oslo, Norway. You then became German Consul General in Boston, Deputy Director General of the Department of Culture and Education in the German Foreign Office, and Co-Chair of the German-American Fulbright Commission. Through these positions, your passion for learning and your life's work you have focused on building international cooperation in higher education. Before joining the Diplomatic Corps, you were a German Academic Exchange Service Lecturer at the Polytechnic of Central London and the Sorbonne Nouvelle and the Institute of Political Studies in